Oh, man, that hurt. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joel, where I do reviews, help, and gaming, and wow, ah! This is my friend Joseph, and this is my friend Deegan from school. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Joel Hemi Show review. Today, I will be reviewing the Big World Big Adventures of Trackmaster 2 a Boat and Sea Set. So, before I unbox it and review it and set up the track, I'll go ahead and go over the front, back, sides, and top and bottom of the box. So, on the front of the box, we have it, Thomas, which has some seagulls on the side. Although, on the picture, he's looking towards the front of the box like he's looking at you. But on the actual face for Thomas, he's just a traditional Thomas. Um, besides the seagulls. And then he's on a little boat, which I think could have used a face. Because, obviously, Thomas and Fens, everything has a face. But anyway, then we have the Thompson Fans Trackmaster logo up there. We have something that looks kind of like the Titanic in the background. And then the recommended age, the motorized action. There's the name of the set. And then the Big World Big Adventures, which I have already reviewed. Young Bo, Nia and the Elephant, and Thomas and Ace already. So I kind of have the complete um, Big World Big Adventures thing. And then right there, it's showing you the set. Right there, so you have a half track and then half boat, which is what this thing rides on. And then, there we go. That's the front of the box, and then the back of the box shows what looks like a bucket of classic Trackmaster stuff. And then we have a whole bunch of, like, stuff in the background, which I've seen in other sets. And then, it shows the set, the other things that you can get, and then also... Um, there's the tornado set, which I still need to get. But anyway, that is the back of the box, and then the side of the box, it is showing you what's included. And then, on the other side, nothing too, too eye-interesting. There's the top. Obviously, there's the name, Trackmaster and Thomas and Fence. And then the bottom of the box, if any of you guys want to pause and read, there you go. So now that we've taken a look at the box in detail, let's go ahead and open it up. So to open the box, all you have to do is open this little tab right there, and then you can open this part of the box. And actually, there is one piece of tape that you have to get. There you go. And then now you can get your first glimpse at what's included. So now let's go ahead and dump it out in slow motion style. That's it. Okay, there's our instructions. And now let's go ahead and pop out Thomas, which I'll do from right here. Try not to damage the boat here. There we go. Got that undone, and whoa, okay. Thomas is just flown out of his little box. And the ship is still in there. Oh, well, isn't that cool? You get, like, an actual cutout. And I watch a YouTuber called Leo Kim Video, and he um, states that you can kind of use this as a, a little ghost. So you can put that on it, and then Thomas is gone. Eh, in theory. There you go. So I will probably be keeping that because I'm keeping the box. And then uh, to get the boat out, you actually have to do some stuff inside the box. So let's go ahead and get the boat out. And for magic, I've got the uh, little boat out. And now that I take a closer look at this, I can see gears inside of here, which is what is going to connect to Thomas's wheels to uh, power the boat. And then there's a little notch that puts down a tab right there. So that when Thomas reaches the other dock, um, he will get released and stop um, rolling around the ship. And then you have offset wheels right there to make it look like it's rocking back and forth. So if you want, you can throw the box away. I will most certainly not be throwing the box away. So now let's go ahead and get everything open with a total of three bags and then obviously our instructions.
Okay, so I've got everything out of the box now. I have two docks, as you can see there. This is the side that the boat will slide up to, just like that, so that Thomas doesn't get jammed up right there, so there's an opening. And then it's the same for this dock as well. They're the same mold, but in different colors. And then we've got, uh, I wanted to say flat state. But it, it's, uh, it's actually not. It's like a wavy piece. So Thomas like goes back and forth. And then we've got two of the little flags. We've got Bissell or Bessel. The Island of Sodor. As you can see there, there's your little sign. And then so there's a welcome it to Decker Senegal. And then on the other side, it says welcome to... I cannot read that. So there's those two things, and then there's a sort of up piece, if you want to call it that, a transition piece. You got a switcher, a stop piece, and then a short straight, and then a CS, which is one of the short curves. And then this is the track that the boat goes on. So as you can see there, the boat like kind of whirls back and forth. And this kind of connects together, similar to... Classic Trackmaster. It just slips into each other with the two little slots. And then you've got one, two, three, four curves, and then I believe two transition pieces and one straight. And then a stop go piece in yellow, which I very, very much like because I like it when track is um, yellow and all colorful. And then obviously you've got Thomas, and now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the instructions. So if I can get this to open up, I'll go ahead and show you guys the inside. So there is the inside. It's showing you the layout, how to put everything together, and then how to use the stop go, how to install batteries, which I'll show in a minute. And then there is the front showing you the layout and what's included, and then there is the back. It's telling us how to play or how to use like the unique features to the set. So now I'm going to go, go ahead and attempt to build it up. I might have to take down the stuff in the background, but whatever comes, comes. Okay, so I've got the uh, track set up now with the uh, sort of water feature that has the boat. And then, as you can see, when it clicks there, this little lever goes down, and that'll release Thomas. And then you have your dock over here, your dock over there. There's two transitioning pieces right there, or here and here. And then there's the little switch off if you want to connect it to another set. Um, same goes for, like, this glowing mine set. It, ha it also has a little switch off. And then you just have the one little curve that you get. And then the stop go, which should not be on stop. And then your straight, and then... Yeah, that is the layout. Now let's go ahead and put batteries into So Thomas. to install batteries, all you need to do is look at the bottom and unscrew the Phillips screwdriver. And then you'll have a spot for two AAA style alkaline batteries. Pop those in, make sure that the unit works. There you go. And then put the top back in. Screw the screw back in, and then you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and give Thomas's first run. Good so far, nice and straightly from the new batteries. And it should release there. And I showed how that little mechanism with the little clip worked. And right now he's going across the salt ocean and all that goodness. So I'm gonna bring Thomas to a little halt and give him a quick comparison to a couple Thomases. So this is my Thomas from my Superstation, which I got around the same time as this set. But obviously the Superstation um, Thomas has sparks, and this one has singles, which are really out of scale to Thomas. And then on the other side, it's the same. Both of the faces are just generic faces. Obviously no painted buffles, bleh, buffers and all that. And then this is my Steaming Thomas from a Fire and Rescue set. And it's actually a real steam Thomas. You put water in there and then it puffs steam out. But it also has sparks and the one is a little bit bigger. And it's a dark blue. And the face is a tad bigger. And then on the other side it's a, pretty much the same thing. 
added just to show you guys that I the both of these little Thomas characters work. I'll go ahead and let them do their own little laps on the set. There you go. So far, Thomas has just done his thing, and now let's go ahead and give the Superstation Thomas a run. Which I don't know why I set him off on the boat. And then after Superstation does his thing, or Superstation Thomas does his thing, I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the other Big World Big Adventures characters. So bringing you to a screeching halt, we'll go ahead and compare the uh, uh, Boat and Sea set Thomas to the other Big World Big Adventures at Thomas, which came as a single kit with just two chain cars. So on the side, you have a whole bunch more detailing because Thomas is in the jungle. And then his wheels are all muddy. And then even on the sticker and the top of the roof, you have more detailing. And then on the side, you have all that detailing as well. This Thomas actually just has a normal sticker there. The face on the jungle Thomas is actually a alternate face, which is very, very nice. Whereas this one's just a completely normal Thomas. And then this Thomas can have his own little gun on the set real quick. Okay, never mind. Oh my gosh, Thomas. Why are you pulling tricks? There you go. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring out Nia, which is from the single kit Nia and the Elephant. Which was a nice character to get because the for once the boiler is actually a good shape. It's well detailed. Detailed. Has black buffers. Can you believe that? Trackmaster 2 character with black bumpers that's crazy and then also the orange wheels and so as the orange paint scheme was a nice little thing to have and then there was young bow the hero which my original one was a misprint the yellow things when uh the yellow lines were not printed on so it was a factory air which i did not know at the time so i should have kept that in the box but all these characters work on the set near yeah, gets her own little run real quick set that there they go and then Nia will do her little trip across the ocean. There you go. And then the one thing that's really frustrating is this is a big world, a big adventure set. This is a big world, big adventures character. Now, do these work together? Let's see. Well, so far, not so good because it's putting up trouble. But, hmm, why is that hanging off the edge? They should just uh, kind of agree with each other, right? No. For some reason, this is a little flaw that does not make sense to me. Anyway, that is uh, some comparisons, and now let's go ahead and cause some trouble and send characters on some mayhem. So send you there. Send you there. We'll send you onto the boat. And we'll send you going that way. Boom. Boom. And now we have a whole bunch of fights going on. Yay. Come on, young bro. Help Thomas. Come on, steaming Thomas. Help Thomas. Come on, Thomas. Help Thomas. Oh my gosh. This guy's putting up a fight. Oh my gosh. Superstation Thomas is deadly. Okay, so... That's some of the kind of fun that you can have with this set. If I can get everything back into its little place, I'll go ahead and say my personal opinion of this set. There you go. So, here we go. So, as for my opinion on this set, I would recommend going and buying it because it kind of introduced some new track in a way, and it's kind of new and nice, so this is a good way to collect this stuff. It's a cheap way to collect this stuff because this set isn't terribly expensive. So that's one of my little things on why you should get the set and also the docks are really cool because you could do all kinds of different things. You could have them leading up to stuff. And then the stuff go piece. The stuff go piece is a nice little touch for me. But that's probably not what people are going to be interested in if they buy this set. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the Joel Misha review of the Boat and Sea Trackmaster 2 set, if you guys... Uh, that. Make sure that you subscribe, like the... Uh, 
So that is the Join Me Show review of the Boat and Sea Trackmaster 2 set. If you guys enjoyed, make sure that you subscribe, like the most recent vi- or watch the most recent video, like this video, and comment it to friends, family, and whoever you desire. So bye for now, and have a very, 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 very